Sheikh Jassim's genius and ruthless move could force the Glazers to either quit and leave Man United or expose themselves for what they are really trying to do. The Glazers have shown their only motivation with Manchester United takeover talks. Maybe it is fitting that in a final attempt to force the Glazer family into action and do a deal for Manchester United, Sheikh Jassim has imposed his own deadline. The Qatari bidders have made a fifth offer to buy the club and want an answer by Friday, which will mark 200 days since the Glazers announced a strategic review that effectively put the club up for sale. That is 200 days of deadlines and dithering. The Glazers appointed the Rain Group to oversee the process, and as one source said back when the deadline for third bids was approaching, they had been hustling on behalf of United's loathed owners throughout. Initially, this was seen as a sale that might involve three bids from interested parties, but here we are a few days out from the transfer window opening, and we still don't know who is going to be owning United in July or August, when the big deals begin to happen. We have now reached a point where the fans are frustrated, Eric Ten Hag is frustrated and the bidders themselves are frustrated. It has to end. As usual, every United goal this season has been celebrated with a rendition of anti-Glazer songs, and the snail's pace of the sale has only hardened attitudes towards the club's owners of nearly 18 years. The contrasting nature of the deals has also split some fans. While Sheikh Jassim's bid is seeking a full takeover and wants to clear the debt, Sir Jim Ratcliffe's offer wouldn't immediately wipe the debt clear, and it would mean the Glazers staying in a minority capacity for now. Even if they don't have any significant say, that idea is unpalatable for plenty of supporters. But it's unfathomable a decision still hasn't been made when its effects will clearly be felt during the transfer window. As deals begin to fall into place there is uncertainty still hovering over Old Trafford. One thing is for sure, the Glazers have clearly revealed their primary motivation over the previous six months. In the wake of the Super League debacle, there was a prolonged attempt to insist that they do actually care, or at least that Joel and Avram care. Kevin, Brian, Edward and Darcy have been ready to cash out their chips for a while. Avram has been at Wembley to watch United in the Carabao Cup and FA Cup Finals this season and to watch the women's team in their fuck up final, but the constant attempts to eke out every last dollar in this process reveal their true motivations are about money. Perhaps this is all just sensible business practice and if Sheikh Jassim's fifth bid succeeds then the Glazers will congratulate themselves on a job well done. But nobody really knows. In fact, we still don't really know if they plan to sell at all. The possibility of minority investment remains on the table. They could stay on as well under Ratcliffe's and Eo's bid. You would have expected answers by now, but even if it affects planning for the summer and for the football team, which let's not forget is the actual point of this business, it doesn't really seem to matter. So whatever actually happens from here on, we can only hope that this is a deadline that somebody in this process actually sticks to. In our other news, Donny van de Beek finally makes man a transfer U-turn after Eric Ten Hag decision. Donny van de Beek finally makes man a transfer U-turn after Eric Ten Hag decision. Donny van de Beek is ready to call time on his Manchester United career and move on in the upcoming transfer window. The Dutch midfield Fielder, 26, was signed from Ajax in a £35 million deal by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer back in 2020 but has struggled to establish himself as a first-team regular at Old Trafford. Van de Beek, who suffered a season-ending knee injury back in January, had been expected to play a more prominent role for the Red Devils this season following the appointment of Eric Ten Hag, the same coach who utilized him heavily at Ajax. However, the Netherlands international has still been a peripheral figure and has now decided to move on. That's according to a fresh report from The Guardian, who claimed that Van de Beek has accepted its time to leave the club, who are pursuing a summer deal for Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount. The report goes on to add that Van de Beek expects to be fit for preseason as he mulls over his next move. While Van de Beek is now willing to move on, the midfielder has previously resisted the urge to seek regular football elsewhere. He did, however, push for a loan move to Everton last January. Ten Hag is known to be in the market for an elite striker this summer, but his desire to acquire a dynamic number eight to reinvigorate his midfield has seemingly convinced Van de Beek that the time is now right to kickstart his career away from Old Trafford. Manchester United have already reached an agreement with Mount over personal terms, and the next step to striking a deal is thrashing out a suitable fee with Chelsea. The Blues are unlikely to be accommodating, though even though Mount is now inside the final year of his current contract, 
and would be available to leave on a free next summer. Van de Beek is unlikely to be the only fringe player to exit Old Trafford in the coming weeks, with a host of other players set to follow the former Ajax man out of the door. It's already been confirmed that Phil Jones and Axel Tuinzep will be leaving the club at the end of their contracts later this month, while Harry Maguire, Anthony Marshall, Alex Tells, Eric Bailey and Brandon Williams are also expected to be sold ahead of the 2023-24 campaign. Like Van de Beek, club captain Maguire has also openly expressed a desire to stay and fight for his place in the past. However, that stance could soften in the wake of Manchester United's links with Napoli centre-half Kim min -Yi. If you enjoyed the make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.